Hey everyone, Anthony here from Signal by Sony, a show about everything Sony makes, and I'm here to give you an exclusive first look at Sony's new internet player with Google TV. Dave from Sony's home audio and video team is joining me here in the studio. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Uh, and tell me, what is uh, what is new about this Google TV product? What is what is different from the others that we have seen before? Well, of course, this uh, generation box has the same capabilities as the other generation. So this box um, allows you the ability to very easily jump between searching on the internet or searching what's on your cable box or whatever you want to find on the web. Cool. So if we're familiar with uh, Google TV, if we've used those products before, we're going to see all the same sort of apps and functionality that we've seen before. Absolutely. And in fact, the apps are growing. They have over a thousand apps available now. Then uh, the main difference, obviously, just looking at it very quickly, uh, seems to be form factor. This has been updated quite a bit. Yes. So this is the uh, new remote control. It's a uh, very simple to use remote control, very similar to a cell phone. In mm -hmm. fact, when you're on a web screen, you can actually pinch and pull to very reduce cool. or enlarge. Also, it has a full QWERTY keyboard on the back, and it is backlit. So that's nice. I mean, the controller that came previously, I was really in love with having been familiar with like gaming and stuff like that. But I can see how this is a very kind of simplified and streamlined version of that. Absolutely. And the cool thing is, at night now, you can actually do your searching. Right on. Um, one other cool thing that we built into it is it's got a multi-positional sensor. So who knows what kind of apps are going to come out that will allow you to interact with it. And have you guys built some functionality into the box that takes advantage of that already? The box actually talks to this through Bluetooth. Okay. So it allows you wirelessly to do whatever you want remote-wise mm -hmm. without having to worry about keeping line of sight and keeping your IR straight ahead. And so let's talk about the form factor of this then. Sure. So this is a very obviously small box. Mm -hmm. There is no Blu-ray player in here, but it does have the HDMI in and out, so you plug your cable box directly into the back of it, mm -hmm. and then this into the TV. It has optical out, so if you want good sound quality, you can. Also has an IR emitter that plugs right into here and can control either your set-top box, your TV, oh, or cool. your cable box. So one remote will control just about everything you've got. Exactly. Um, also LAN, mm -hmm. but also built in is Wi-Fi. So connect it any way you want. And also two USBs. So you have a lot of growth capabilities built into the box. And it, when you're setting this up, it'll actually ask you if you're connecting it to a Blu-ray player and can actually get information, uh, metadata information from the Blu-ray disc and actually show you information on the screen. Cool. Well, do you want to show off some of this new functionality with sure. the remote? Sure. Why don't I... Um, let me go ahead and um, search for Spider-Man, a new movie that's coming out soon, sure. and show you the different kinds of things that uh, this unit will pull up. So this is a global search that you're pulling up here I'm pulling from up anywhere. a global search, and as you can see, I can pull up any TV and movie video results. Cool. I can search from Google. And these are sources, let's say Netflix or other online services, that actually may even have the movies. OK. So I pull up what I want. And then I can go and search for it. And if that's too um, too big and I want to see more, I can just make it smaller. There we go. Or I can make it larger. Oh, nice. I can go back and let's look at some of the other services that are available. Let's okay. look at this movie. It's available from one source. Okay. And then it's got related stuff down related here as well. Related stuff as well. So it makes finding what you want very seamless, very easy. So that's nice. So if you're a member of, of four or five different video services, it's going to pull up everything that you could potentially watch it on. Exactly. And let me show you the applications that are on here. We, we do come with quite a lot of applications, Amazon, okay. uh, AOL, and some other services, um, mm -hmm. including Netflix and Great. Music Unlimited. There are thousands of applications you can put on here, and this is smart enough to know what applications are on it and can help search through those applications as well. Cool. Obviously comes with a bunch of great apps loaded on there already, but what if I wanted to uh, find some more things that are kind of relevant to my interests? Oh, very simple. Just go down to the Google Play Store, select it, and it'll come up with some recommendations. What would you like to see? Uh, what do we got for gaming? Well, let's go to other games. Okay. And here's a whole bunch of different kinds of games. Awesome. A lot of them are free. And so this is all, this is showing everything from the Android market that is going to work on a Google TV device. Uh, this is everything that will work with this device, yeah. So uh, we've seen some movies searching, we've seen some game searching. Uh, what sure. else kind of stuff can we do well, with this? Well, you know, we, we talk a lot about movies because it is connected to your TV and that's mm -hmm. what people like to do. But it also has some great capability as far as just lifestyle searching. For example, if you like cooking, we can go ahead and just search for cooking. Oh, and it cool. will go ahead and pull up TV shows. It'll pull up 
the web. Really? And that's global, that's from everywhere, right? That's from everywhere. And remember, this box really gives you the full power of the internet. And then uh, in, in terms of like setting it up and getting all this stuff running with your services and working, how, how does that work? So it's very simple. As you set it up, uh, you go into settings. Mm -hmm. Actually, when you first turn it on, it'll automatically prompt you there. But we can go right into settings and it'll talk you through the different steps how to set up to the internet, how to choose your video source and everything else. And then it'll even teach you how to program your buttons, including okay. your guide, your DVR, and your TV, so that you can control multiple things using this Bluetooth remote. Which once again means you don't have to be aimed right directly at the TV. Right. You can just go ahead and just be casually sitting back, relaxing, and surfing the web. Well, Dave, thank you so much for joining us. For more on the Sony Internet Player with Google TV, just head to the Sony website. And to watch more Signal, head to youtube.com signal or sony.com signal. I'm Anthony, and we'll see you next time.